Hi, this is Dylan from Velocity Tech Solutions, and today I'm going to be doing an overview on a Dell PowerEdge R620 server. Um, first, I'm going to open up the top and look at the inside. So the R620 is a 1U size server. It uh, only fills up uh, 1U on a rack. Uh, so it's essentially the thinnest you can get for a server. It supports um, the latest generation of processors currently, both the uh, E5-2600 and E5-2600 version 2 processors. So that means you can actually potentially get up to 12 cores per processor with potentially up to 48 threads, counting hyper-threading. Now as far as the memory goes in this machine, it has a much more memory capacity than the old R610. Um, not only did it move from triple channel to quad channel, it also gives you about twice as many DIMM slots as on the R6, the R610. Um, this essentially allows you to use up to 768 gigabytes of memory using 32 gigabyte sticks. So obviously that's quite an advancement past the last generation. Um, on top of that, it's quad channel memory, so it actually means that it uh, is able to have more memory bandwidth as well, simply because it's able to access more sticks of memory at the same time. Now as far as the RAID controllers and storage go for this server, generally it can come with anything from S110 uh, software RAID, which really isn't recommended, all the way up to the H710. Um, this one currently has an H710P, which is actually kind of a... Uh, proprietary card specifically for this type of server. You can also, however, get a, a PCI card as well, and that will also function the same. Now the drive bay selection will vary depending on uh, what model you have. There's actually a, a 4, 6, 8, and 10 bay version. As you can see, this is currently the 8 bay version, so you've got 2 and then a, a bank of 6. However, it also can be a 4-bay version, which would be these two and these two, 6-bay, which would be these two and these four, or 10-bay, and it actually eliminates this entirely. Now, as far as networking goes on this machine, it uh, has actually a number of options. Rather than being integrated onto the board itself, it's actually an add-on card, which you can remove and uh, customize with your own type of network uh, port. So it comes standard with 1 gigabit per second uh, NICs, however you can upgrade it to 10 gigabit per second NICs, which means you don't need to waste a PCI slot to add that faster uh, compatibility. Now the iDRAC has been changed in this. Um, since iDRAC 6, the iDRAC Enterprise is no longer a standalone piece, it's actually a licensable uh, piece of software that you actually have to pay for it which unfortunately not quite as nice as where you just pay one uh, base price and not have to worry about it after that. And then as far as the power supplies go, this is about the last of it. Um, they kind of vary. It either goes from 465 watts to the lowest end, all the way up to 1100 watts to the highest end. Obviously there's quite a range depending on what you actually have inside the system. Uh, Again, this is Dylan from Velocity Tech Solutions. Visit us at velocitechsolutions.com and hopefully this helps.